Start streaming. All right, let's find our chat. Okay, maybe this is working. I'm not sure that we have enough bandwidth to stream. Mm, we'll see. You are live. I am here with my friend Adrian. And Adrian uh, went to Staples today, or did you even go, or what? Uh, it was like two weeks ago to get um, kid stuff for school. Okay, yes. Yep. And it was super convenient while you were... At did you see this sign? Wait, hold on. No, this was completely my mom's doing. She went and she saw the sign that said, fix your cracked screen in an hour. At mm -hmm. Staples. And I said, you know, <laughs> Jess is Jess is going to be really <laughs> mad like, if you I'm go like, here, you know. She's like, no, no, they can do it in did an hour. Did you see that sign? Um, they, sure. Yes, we yeah. did, actually. That right. sign okay. was there. So your mom said, you know, it's a really great idea. We'll get her cracked iPhone 6 fixed. Mm -hmm. And uh, then what happened? Um, she dropped, dropped a massive amount of coin on it. And an hour later, she picked it up. And What's a massive great. amount of coin? Like, how much does this cost? Oh, Is it like... $130. <gasps> I know. I know. Well, so... You can see my tooth I got taken out. Isn't that terrible? I could have given you $130 to get your tooth fixed. <laughs> Oh, well, Garrett, what the heck? <laughs> Garrett's a stripper now. Garrett, we didn't we didn't talk about that. This is a. I'm pretty sure YouTube says something. Like, Are any minors appearing in this video? Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so you went to Staples, and you had a hundred and thirty dollar <laughs> screen change, and this is what you got. So um, this is a nice looking iPhone six screen, perfectly legit. So she came home and everything worked and it was fine. Um, yeah, everything was fine, and then um, the next day she noticed that her battery was dying, and it kept dying, and it kept dying after she had it plugged in, and so finally she's like, something's wrong with my phone, I don't know what's wrong with it now, and so we brought it in today, and then you took it apart and Frankenstein it. Alrighty. We have this at Office Depot. I would never trust it. I suppose they have a long screw damage. Uh, nope. Oh, oh, that kid. What's up with the fire? The fire is, um, this is Adrian's son, Garrett. Oh, and Garrett, I let him pick out what kind of background because he's just kind of stuck here while his mom's mom is chatting with um, Miss Jessa. So I noticed uh, the, the phone earlier today, it was okay but then it then the display the image it would just yeah. go blank it would well it was, it was like as soon as you would turn it off and like put it in sleep mode mm -hmm. and, and after about 30 seconds it would come on and then it would shut itself off it so it had on. full display so it wasn't like apple logo it wasn't it wasn't no. not booting it was just no. that it would kind of go, go like that a little bit like All it's right. like your home like your lock screen would show up and then it would just go and away. then it would just go yeah. away even when it's plugged in to and the you had a diagnosis idea what was it i did what do you think's going on Oh, the battery? Something with the battery. What about the proximity sensor you were talking about? Oh, yeah, totally. The proximity sensor. That's right. Um, That's right. The proximity <laughs> sensor was the first thing that I was thinking about, seeing as I'm so well-versed in iPhone repair. Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah. So let's take a look at the proximity sensor. This is going to be a five-minute video. I just thought this was funny. So I decided to make a quick stream because Garrett thought it would be fun to play with a green screen. Alrighty, so let's see what, he's like, what? No, I didn't. Um, let's see what a normal um, phone is supposed to look like. So this is a straight up original um, iPhone native, iPhone 6 native screen. And we're gonna take a look, um, a look at it under the microscope. So I am going to just take off these screws so that you guys that maybe don't fix phones all day every day can see what does it look like under there so we will take a look so this is the area up here where the ear speaker front camera proximity sensor and the ambient light sensor live so we are going to just unscrew this stuff and see what's under door number two so adrian did you watch any of the apple event yesterday um, I did not. There was an event. Yeah, they. Uh, you know, it was Christmas Day. You missed. Uh, you missed out on it. I it was, uh, clearly did miss out on it. You it's, did. All right. Well, then I'll give you. I'll. <laughs> so guess what? They're gonna make some new iPhones. And what? No. Yes. Now, do you remember the iPhone 5C? 
No. The iPhone's 5C was that kind of plasticky one that was colorful. So it would come in like blue or green. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Bailey's first phone was an iPhone 5C. All right, let's see. Let's take this apart. And let's take this apart. Um, so the, it was the, I think 5C stands for cheap. I mean, color, color. stands for color, not, not cheap, not cheap. Um, but it was the kind of the cheap one. All right, this is what the native phone looks like. So we can see on the native screen that blue green look is your oleophobic coating. It's voting day. They're going a little nuts outside. All righty. I thought you were broadcasting this on the side of the building. That's where like, woohoo! Oh, William <laughs> look at that yeah. phone. Yeah, oh my God, somebody's ear needs to get some Q-tips up in there. All right, let's um, pop this out and see what does this whole piece look like. Here we go. So here is your um, ambient light sensor and proximity sensor. So see, these are, this always I thought looked like kind of insect eyes. Oh, yeah. So I now they're having that. a new colored iPhone. You can get it in red, you know, kind of these candy colors. Um, but unlike the 5C, guess how much the cheapest discount value iPhone that you can get in any color is going to cost you? I would say $7.99. Oh, close. It's a even cheaper, $7.49. $7.49. Cheapest oh, so one is $7.49. Now the expensive one. We're gonna take off your microphone. So see how, look at that, Garrett, it's just a sticker. Isn't that cool that your phone is pretty much held together by stickers? You know what reminds me of, do you remember like the little stick-on mm -hmm. earrings when you were little? Oh, yes. Like the stars and, yes. the, and the hearts and the tiny. Oh my God, I'm gonna wear a pair of these microphones as <gasps> yes. earrings. That That's is a great idea, I love idea it. best idea ever. Yeah, it is, totally the best idea. Fashion stuff out of it. So Alrighty. Now you speak my language. Okay, so, um, so that's the deal. This is the this is what a native flex would look like. So then I just now opened up um, the screen that came from Staples. So let's look at Staples finest. Now, if you're doing an iPhone screen change, like a DIY screen change, or a shop is changing one for you, or maybe you work in a shop, then what makes sense is to take this piece that we just pulled off. That's the native OEM piece, including your native microphone and resist the temptation to make it into an earring. The native front camera, the native ambient light sensor, and the native proximity sensors. So get all of that and transfer it over to your new screen because that's really in your best interest or in your, in, your, in your customer's <laughs> best interest, exactly. All right, so um, now if you go to the Apple store, they can't be trusted. Those geniuses do not have um, the, the trust factor going from the mothership to be able to transfer these small parts themselves. So at the Apple store, the heavily institutionalized, you know, repair, which makes sense, you're going to not make any mistakes, is to just go in the back and get a brand new screen that comes with those small parts pre-installed. So if you go to the Apple store, you're going to get, <laughs> if you go to the Apple store, you're going to get a brand new front camera, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, and microphone, and ear speaker, and home button. Every time you get your screen changed there, uh, then they will program it to match. So for the rest of us, rather than just throw those pieces away, uh, what makes sense is to transfer them from your native screen that cracked to your brand new screen, and that's what we do. Now if you go to a place like Staples, where they have kind of institutionalized repair as well, but they don't have access to the native OEM parts, then that's when you can get in trouble. And this is why I would not recommend getting your screen changed at Staples. You know, so what we, yeah, so what happens is that what Staples will do is they will get a screen assembly, meaning it's, a, uh, it's an aftermarket screen that comes with an aftermarket front camera ear speaker, ambient light sensor, proximity sensor, et cetera. And that's how you can get into trouble because these aftermarket small parts tend to have a really high failure rate. So you can get these like little weird things that happen that are because of defective parts. I mean, these parts are inexpensive and they will, they will fail all the time. So be sure you can change your own screen. Nothing wrong with that. Great way to save money. You can go to a shop and have a shop change your own screen. Nothing wrong with that 
as just be sure that you that you are aware that it's important to carry over and transfer your small parts from your native screen to the new screen. Don't just throw them away and don't buy these pre-made screen assemblies because they tend to be low quality. So let's take a look at this one and see why are we why are we going on about this? So we're going to get rid of us and look back under the microscope. All right. We refurbish screens best prices guaranteed is guaranteed to uh, get uh, banned. Sorry about that, bro. All right. Um, so let's let's take a look at what do we have on this screen here. All right. So we can see. Ah, oh, there is our same old earrings. Yeah, our, our, actually, this would be really good. I dare you to go back into Staples being like, dude, my proximity sensor was all messed up and I've made it into this beautiful single earring <laughs> because that's all that it's good for. All right, so we can see that this is the, you see how this is kind of difficult to remove? This is stuck on there. That's because it wasn't transferred by the kid working at Staples. It was part of the new screen. Same thing here. See, this is all a new mesh, you know, a new sticker here as well. And now, what do you notice, Adrian, as you look in this hole compared to the other one? Um, it's not as pretty as the other hole. It's not as pretty as the other <laughs> hole. Yes, this is a very boring hole. That's a drab hole. It's a drab, <laughs> that's a drab hole. Yes, so that is a drab hole, which means that this is an aftermarket screen no. that has, uh, that's low quality it's because like it doesn't have that. It's like buying a knockoff flash. Gucci bag. It is, it is exactly that. And that's a real shame. It's when they sold it to you, this, the, this cost for them would be maybe 10 bucks. And the idea that they're selling that for like something crazy like 130, that's that's shameful. Highly robbery. All right, but here's the worst. All right, so here here we can see your ambient light sensor and proximity sensor, little bug eyes. He looks okay, and uh, it is kind of uh, stuck here to the bracket. So here's the bracket. That bracket's supposed to stay uh, glued down there, but you know, let's not be picky. Now. This is, this is the money though, right here. This little ambient light sensor. Uh, so just to refresh your memory for you guys that might have just joined, uh, this is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to be a soldered on component uh, that, that has this little bracket, you know, so this nice little cushy uh, wedge of rubber that holds it in place and then look at this relatively delicate soldered on component complete with underfill that's some pretty nice looking thing and it has a little it's a it's a chip and it has a little bit of a pink tone to it so staples said uh why don't we just uh go down to aisle six and uh don't we have some uh pink pink, peanuts. <laughs> pink, pink, pink foam boards that we can so huh. staples has thrown away your they have taken this like your mom's is in the trash mm -hmm. her piece like this is sitting in the trash can they threw my mom's pink piece in the trash. yes they threw her pink piece in the trash awesome. and now she's got a drab hole she doesn't have a pink piece <laughs> anymore <laughs> And it's a sad, sad day for Ellen. Ugh. All right. So, but, but look at this. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at this. It is a pink piece of paper from Staples. Oh, I want, please, like, I want to go with you to Staples. Let's do another stream where we go back to Staples and we just say, um, my, my ambient light sensor, um, ripped in half. Can you... <laughs> Can you can you tell me what aisle can, what aisle do you sell ambient light sensors on? And they would be like, I'm sorry, we we don't sell ambient light sensors. And you'd be like, Hell if you do. Yeah, like this is my right here. Th this is my ambient light. You, I just paid 130 dollars for this ambient light sensor. I it can, came with a free LCD. I could put it on my hearing. Yes. <laughs> Look, it's perfect. Yes, exactly. Um, I only got one ambient light sensor earring style. I, do, I need to buy another one. What yeah, the hell does that come on? This is bullshit. This is... Sorry, Garrett. Please ignore that word. Your mom shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> so, I mean, staples. You deserve to be shamed publicly for putting in Adrian's mom's phone a piece of pink 
whatever paper <laughs> a piece of something that you dug out of the dust pan sweeping the floor of aisle nine and you, gave her and a you drab just hole. shoved it in there next to a drab hole for 130 dollars shame on you staples boo shame boo. Shame. Shame. shame oh god now we that's what we should have done oh shame, shame. Uh, for shame 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 no shame, shame 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 <laughs> No, ma'am. No, no ma'am. You should not. No, ma'am. You should not. Please let me take a close up of your ear with a couple of these microphones stuck on it. Yeah. I want to wear them. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes. That's it. All right. Check us out on Instagram. Hold on. We just, saw, we just started the iPad Rehab Instagram account. And I don't remember which one of these images it was. Nope. Not that one. Um, <coughs> it was the other day. Uh, Stokes have dropped by 30%. Mm -hmm. Stokes. What? what? <laughs> Stokes have dropped by 30%. He does not live in Denver. Oh, I don't know. All right. <laughs> yes. Uh, this guy, I've had most of my iPhone screens come out, come without small parts. I'm used to moving them over. That's right, Polly. Exactly. Just wow. Exactly. Good morning, Jessa. Good morning, Nathan Hopkins. A little uh, sleeping in till uh, 5.30 uh, Eastern time. All right. They probably won't know what that is. Well, they're they going to learn. they going to learn now. All right. S Stokes have... What does Stokes mean? Well, Drop by... I think you're talking about stocks. Stocks? In oh, Naples. stocks. Oh, Ma'am, I am, I am from India. That is fan fantastic. All right. Uh, bring back the stocks and the rotten fruit in the town square. That technician should be locked in them. $130 for J to the U. Well, there's to the pillagers MJ. outside on the corner right That's now. That's right. We should go out there. Exactly. Get some pink paper. Only 99 uh -huh. I think you should, we should go back and just be like, how much is it if I don't want it with the ambient light sensor? I just want it plain. I just want it. All right. I want my cracked screen back. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, yeah, the cracked screen itself is worth a lot more than this. All right. I think that, that we should take this off, though, so that you can, you know, wear it and on your ears. So let's go back and look under the microscope. So we are going to, I don't know even what to do with the little pink piece. I just couldn't believe that, where it's like, are you kidding me? No, that, that's so uncool. Just like, that's well, fine. I want to know where in China somebody had the good idea, like, I know how we can save money. <laughs> right? Do you have any, honey, in your purse, do you have any pink, like, tissue paper well, wait, or something like that? do they hand put these together over there? Do they, like, in China? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody's job in China is, um, and you can see pictures so, of these women in China that are sitting there with a thousand of these tiny little pieces <laughs> of plastic and a dropper bottle of super glue. And so, your job is to do this, you know. You know what that could there. be? It could be from someone's like fingernail that just got left. Or they sneezed out a piece of their gummy lunch and it just, just got stuck. God. And they're like, oh, it's close enough. And look at how bad this is too. Like they, they, it's like intentional. It's meant to go with the screen. This is not, like I don't even think that's gonna work. I think this entire screen, we're gonna have to swap it out because this is too painted. Like let's compare it to um, the native one. See how the native one has that. There's that shiny hole there's again. There's this, um, yeah, nice pretty hole kept up nice. And this is the native OEM Apple screen. This is why the right to repair is so important. You know, don't you want to know like what you're, what you're, you know, being sold? I mean, this piece here that the, that it looks through is a, you know, in, intentionally put their diffuser and then it goes and looks through the screen. Unless you, you compare my that. Screen. That's the other screen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's the old cracked screen. The old you know, cracked. and this this one is your mom's screen and see how it doesn't have that and it, and it's just white paint here or you know, I don't even know that what that is. That's so is. weird. So even if we replace it, I don't think it's going to work. Right. I think we're going to have to replace this entire screen Should and send this one straight back, to, back staples. to staples and say this is some B to the S. And then just just link them to this video and wear like get a costume that is like one of those uh, for shame or just walk in there naked like shame written all over you and just point at them you know something like that you could do that all right um, please don't mess with this lady's pink piece right thank you 
It's right. not even mine. It's my mom's pink piece. Yes, exactly. Ah. It's Adrian's mom, who's out in the car, by the way. And she, I cracked the window <laughs> for her. I cracked the window for her and the dog. Okay. All right. I think we're going to hit... And now let me look at chat real quick. And I wanted to just let you guys know also with our five minute stream, that's probably been not more than been more than five minutes, or 20 minute, five minute stream, uh, that iPadRehab.com, the brand new exciting iPadRehab.com is launching today. Whether we're ready or not, it is launching today. There's going to be hiccups, there's gonna be problems. You'll have to get used to a new process, but it is pretty. So go check it out, iPadRehab.com. You can check out our new TriStar testers. We have five left. So we have five left that you can, uh, that you can still pick up. And you can um, tell us what you think of the new website in the comments. And make sure that you share this with your non-repair friends that are thinking of doing something like um, getting their cracked screen changed at Staples just because they have to get school supplies. So don't take your mom to Staples. Or don't take your mom to Staples. It's a bad Or she'll idea. get a drab hole. All right. If we paid for flight and hotel, would you come to Germany and teach a class? Uh, super fun. Um. <laughs> Only even come right now because Oktoberfest is going on. <laughs> That's so. right. That's right. Exactly. Okay. Mom, you're um, on fire. Yes, it is. All right. So <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna close it out here with... Um, Garrett and his fire. Garrett, where'd you go, Garrett? There you go. You got one last chance. Wake it up, fire. Garrett. Garrett, here you go. It's your moment to shine. Oh. Let me out of the chair, chair. Yeah, there you Garrett, go. Garrett. Invisibility. <laughs> that's your kid. <laughs> that's your son. All right, it's that's so it. We'll see you next time.